Hello, beautiful gems. So it's Sanaa again, and I'm coming to you with a tag. And it is, I gotta get my notes, guys. I got my computer, I got my notes. All right, it is the Clean House Tag hosted by Chrissy and Lacey's Space. And so I want to thank personally and send a big hug to Mrs. V for tagging me. And so I love you, Miss V. Wherever you are, hope you warm wherever you are and you're enjoying yourself. So <clears throat> the clean house tag has 10 questions. So if you see me looking up, looking down, <laughs> then that's what it is. And so I'm gonna do my 10 questions and guys, you stick around to the end so you can see if I tagged you. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna start with this little tag and they've got some uh, great questions. And so I'm gonna answer this, um, these 10 questions. And so number one, how often do you clean your house? Okay, so how often do I clean my house? Every day. I clean something every day in my house, especially the bathrooms. Um, I have a thing <laughs> that um the sink especially in the toilets must be clean i i just i think that's just how you get viruses and sickness goes you know so yeah i'm kind of like that where i have to clean the around the sinks like even the handle where i'm up and down um you know to turn the water on around the sink and then the handle to flush the uh toilet i that has to be clean and so yeah and my toilets have to be clean and so and i have to you know i have kind of have a routine but we're going to talk about that later because i have to every morning get out whatever dirty clothes whatever whatever and I, it has to go and so yeah so i clean about every day but then i do like the major dusting and stuff i probably do that about two or three times a week and i'm vacuuming two or three times a week but if you know i see something on the floor it needs to be vacuumed it's got to come up <laughs> all right number two um do you have a certain style or method of cleaning zone cleaning a schedule or one chore a day <clears throat> etc so so i have to um don't really do zone cleaning um i don't really um i do have a schedule i have a routine and so that's when i wake up in the morning uh the first thing i do because i'm already on my way to the kitchen so the first thing I do, it just depends if I know I've got a big schedule and that day and I've got a meeting or I have to go outside of the house, or I have to go somewhere, church, or um, I'm having to go do something, go do things, run errands, whatever it may be, study, um, work, things that are related that may be outside of the house, then, okay, I'm heading to the shower first and then um but on the days and so then i'm heading to the shower doing all that and then as soon as i come out of the room the dirty clothes come with me but if i there are days when i are gonna i'm gonna be at home for um most of the day or the morning part of the portion of the day then still when i get up in the morning um first thing i do I go straight and get whatever dirty clothes. Maybe, you know, I pull off my gown or whatever. Whatever's laying um, beside the bed. You know, because I got to leave some clothes or something close to around the bed in case, you know, something happened in the middle of the night. I got to have socks and shoes and <laughs> stuff, right? So anyway, so, and then I go straight to the um, laundry room, dropping off whatever, towels, clothes, whatever. Because I don't like things sitting around. So I have to, you know, I got to just... I got to do it. And then I'm probably going to start a load or, you know, go ahead and start right then. And then I go to my kitchen and then I sort of work from my kitchen back to the living room. And, you know, if there's anything in the kitchen, it may be just um, cleaning up from the breakfast. You know, it might be, um, you know, whatever, um, emptying the dishwasher. So whatever might be going on from the kitchen, then I work myself back to the um <clears throat> living room and then i walk myself back to the bedroom so that you know that's kind of the method that i do all right um <clears throat> let's see what uh number three what is my least favorite area to clean all of my like <laughs> who said i like to clean <laughs> 
was that a question on the list? Do you like to clean? <laughs> let's first let's start let, let's start there. Because cleaning all of it is a chore. Like if I had my druthers, would I clean today? No. Would I clean yesterday? No. <laughs> I can't even go back to yesterday. Do I clean? Yes. Do I like to clean? <laughs> no. So what's my least favorite? all of them i mean you know <laughs> but it has to be done i mean we got to do it now not in it it's got to be done we understand that right we're on the same page about that but uh, uh no mm -mm. all of them uh let's see my very very least though kitchen i i i just don't like washing dishes i just don't i just do not thank god for a dish washer yes and mama's not happy when the dishwasher go out. And thank God for Cascade complete with these little pods. And you can throw them in there. Yes. I don't like the lemon scent though. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we can move on. Um, what is your favorite area to clean? I thought I covered that in number three. <laughs> I'm going to get it. So, oh, but I think I established this in previous videos that when my, when, you know, I'm, you know, when I was a stay at home mom, so I'm still an empty nester and I practically, you know, most of the time I'm at home, I work and do other things. <clears throat> but my, the large part of my schedule is at home, working from home, um, doing what I do from home, being a wife, mom, I love it. And so that, Cleaning one <laughs> when the kids were younger. Cleaning one part of the uh uh I, no I'm stay at home mom. Cleaning one part of that no I'm just but I clean it ain't my favorite. Um so what's my favorite chore to do? Probably if you had to call it a favorite, it just has to be done and that's just toilets. I mean the bathroom just has to be clean or we all gonna be sick. I mean you got kids we would have company the kids would have company. If one person gets sick, everybody gets sick. So you got a little, I had, I had a little, I had a son, you know, when he was younger. So squirt goes, you know, until they learn how to channel <laughs> this energy kind of goes, right? And then you have girls who are learning. Um, I had a daughter. So girls who are learning through um, the cycles and changes of life. And so stuff got to be clean. It's got to be clean. I ain't got to like it. It doesn't have to be my favorite <laughs> thing to do. Would I rather clean or go um, take the kids to the park? Or would I rather clean or go bike riding? Would I rather clean and go bungee jumping? And I am afraid I... <laughs> right. Um, but it has to be done, right? We all clean. It has to be done. <clears throat> all right. So, so I will say, well, um, what's my uh, favorite... Um, room to clean is number four. I'd probably say bathroom. All right. Um, what's your least favorite chore to do? That is number six. All right. <coughs> Let's see. My, I'm sorry. My least favorite chore to do, that's number uh, five. My least favorite chore to do, of course, is washing the dishes. I just hate washing dishes. I hate putting the dishes up from the dishwasher. Oh, my gosh. And I hate mopping. I hate to mop. I hate to pull out the mop in the mop bucket. <sighs> but it must be done. It must be done. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see. What is my favorite chore to do that you don't mind doing? Is watching TV a chore? <laughs> God, I'm snorting. Um, this is tickling me, Lord. Y'all picked the worst person to tag on the clean on the clean house tag. Do I clean? Yes, but is, is any of this my favorite? <clears throat> All right, let me think. Let's see. What is my favorite chore to do, or the one I don't mind doing? Okay, so back it's the bathroom. I mean, I just don't mind cleaning the toilets. It's not. I don't even think about it because it just has to be done. All of this just has to be done. We live, we live out, we don't live in a barn. We'll live outside. Like, we're not cows. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
It has to be done. It must be done. Toilets, the bathroom, sink, bathrooms has to be clean. So I just, that's where you go and do release things, right? So where you release, when you sitting on your palace, how you going to be king or queen of your palace and it ain't clean? Yes. So while I'm sitting on my throne, yes, it's got to be clean. Yes. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> it got to be clean. All right. So, um, I'm looking for my Clorox wipes. I don't know why they're not in here. But anyway, got to be clean. So, let's see. Number um, seven. What is your favorite cleaning brand? I thought I brought the clean up the, um, my wipes in here. So, anyway, you guys know what wipes look like. The um, Clorox wipes. So, my favorite brand, brand is the Clorox wipes. And I thought I had them. But anyway... Um, that is my absolute favorite brand, Clorox Wipes. And I like the linen scent. So the linen scent is my absolute. And the green, so you know, you know how they do you. You get the three pack and they give you three, two of the yellow and only one of the green. Or the blue green. Why is that? I need to talk to somebody. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so that's my favorite. Clorox in general is just my favorite product. It got so many. Um, and this is a germicidal bleach that we get. My husband gets this from um, Home Depot or Lowe's. It This stuff is really good. I like that. And I like to mop with that. Because it's not as loud scented as the uh, harsh scented as the regular Clorox. Which I love Clorox. And so we usually use, um, use that. That's my <clears throat> favorite cleaning brand. Okay. Um, I also love, we do probably about twice a year, we clean the carpets. And so we got a new carpet cleaner that we got, I think, from Home Depot or Lowe's. And so maybe I'll leave a picture of that at the end. I'll leave the picture of the Lysol um, wipes, too, at the end. I'll leave some pictures at the end so you'll get a chance to see um, some of my favorites. Let's see. So that would be my tool. Eight, what cleaning uh, solution or product do you recommend so what I really like to do is get a squirt bottle and mix in um, little Clorox just a little not too much um, some vinegar okay cuz I put all of my vinegar all of my um, cleaning stuff in things like this and then I like to take um, some baking soda and then shake it and squirt, especially on the showers um, and in the bathtubs. And like, and I squirt that and let it sit. And so I squirt it, right? Or I'll even take an empty, uh, and then I'll put a little Ajax in. I do put a little Ajax in or Dawn or Palm Olive if I don't have any, okay? And so I'll take that and put it all in the squirt bottle or in an empty one of these bottles, whatever I got handy, because I had a hundred, I had a lot of squirt bottles. And um, and then just let it sit for about 15 minutes while I'm doing something else, maybe while I'm cleaning the toilets or something else. And I might just go ahead and um, squirt it in the toilets and let it sit, squirt it in the, um, around the sinks and the counters, right? And so let it sit and I might go take a load of laundry out of the, dryer out of the washing machine and switch it up and then um come back to it and 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 then let it sit and then it's not so hard to scrub then you're not having to use these sos pads my husband loves this this is his favorite cleaning product right this is his favorite cleaning product but um i've noticed you know that i don't have to scrub as hard and i can just use one of those uh it's a foam uh, scrubber that you use basically to wash your dishes um, and you put the soap in the ends and has the foam I'll try to take a picture or put a load of picture up of that and so I've noticed sorry guys I didn't get that off but I've noticed yeah that if I do that and let it sit I'll, I'll put um, pictures but I'll put um, no I don't know if I'll put a recipe for my concoction because I don't want nobody to blow nothing up but you get the idea <clears throat> 
All right, so let's see. Number um, eight. What cleaning solution or product do you not recommend? Fabuloso. Is that how you, yeah. Fab that does not clean. The Fabuloso is really pretty with the purple or I think you can get purple. I don't know if you can get it blue, whatever. Just the, and it smells like horrible. Uh-uh. No, I don't like that. I mean, if I, I already don't like it, so then I'm going to use something that don't work? No, I ain't going to do that. Um, <laughs> I know y'all laughing at me. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, Can you share some of your favorite cl cleaning hacks with us? Sure. Well, I just shared one, and that is um, just to use um, a little Clorox, a little palm olive or dawn i think the the palm olive oxy and the dawn really do clean to me about the same but you know it's your preference a little ajax ajax will get out anything even if you spill something on the couch we'll talk about that in a minute but anyway um mix up the little ajax and a little vinegar and um <clears throat> what else some baking soda and put in a mix that all in a spray bottle or some type of an old container. I like to keep these old containers too. That's another hack. And I just spray it on the tubs. It gets off the mildew off the tubs. It cleans off the out of the shower if you have just a stand up showers. It's great for cleaning sinks. You want your um, faucets to really sparkle. The faucets <clears throat> to really sparkle. That 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 concoction really really works. And um, I don't have to scrub. I don't have to spend a lot of time scrubbing. Um, another thing I like to do, like I said, is you can, I think they're like 237. <clears throat> I'll load a picture at the end, but you can, um, or I'll load it in here, it just depends. But you can get those little uh, scrubbers from Walmart that have the, um, that are used, that you use for, um, washing dishes and i love those for washing dishes but you can and you can pour the ones on the end you can pour the dishwashing liquid in it and i i like to pour the dishwashing liquid in it and i use that for a tub it's got the sponge on on the uh, the sponge head and i don't have to scrub i don't have to do anything and it's quick in and out i'm most of the time it's um soaking and sitting for about 15 minutes and it just cleans itself all right let's see um what else do I recommend? Ajax. Ajax gets out anything. So if you're cleaning and washing towels and you have spots in it or even clothes and you have spots in them and you need to really get out a spot, this to me works better. But this mixed with maybe even a little Dawn works really, really, really well. And um, it just works. And so it's not a concoction. I don't have to mix it with anything. But it is a hack. It does work. Um, having these, I love these... Um, downy unstoppables having the downy unstoppables uh, really works i like to pour some of these in a uh, cup and or even just keep this open but pour it in a bottle an open container and just let it sit in the house and you'd be surprised if you sit some of those, I don't have any of those in here, but if you say you sit them in something like this, like a glass little bowl, you sit them in something like this that's open, then you'd be surprised how well your house, how good your house smells. And so that's just a little hack for me. I use these, a few of these in the, um, probably um, five or six of them when I'm washing. And so just having clean clothes and having, um, you know that smell really really good that's a hack within itself because you walk into a room where there are clean clothes and the whole house smells good the living room everything smells good so that to me is just <clears throat> a hack within itself <coughs> all right let's see um let's see okay so i talked about what i don't recommend i want to talk about and i think i kind of i'm going to go back to what is your favorite um, cleaning brand or supplies? I want to go back to that. <clears throat> I talked about the um, right. I talked about the Cascade because I love the Cascade. I don't like the lemon one, but um, vinegar, cleaning vinegar, is good. You can get this at Dollar Tree. All right. Uh, you can also get this at Walmart. They have this at Walmart. So the cleaning vinegar is very good. I keep mine in here. 
All right, and you can get these containers for Walmart. So to me, the hack is to have things accessible, to have it in a way <clears throat> that you can, that's beautiful and nice, so you don't mind using it. I put my um, Clorox in here in one of these. Um, I have a nice little container, which I'll probably have to take a picture for my um, baking soda. And I have, this is my Ajax, it's here. I also keep some of this. <clears throat> um, this is in the laundry room, but I also keep some around the sink for, you know, in my kitchen. And so this is the container for my palm olive. So it just rotates. It depends what I got a coupon on or what's on sale, whether I'm going to use the palm olive oxy or the Dawn. But the Dawn seems to irritate my hands a bit. My husband likes the Dawn better. <clears throat> but I notice if I use the Dawn over time, um, that it does sort of irritate my hands. And so, yeah. So it itch, kind of itches my hands along the Clorox. And I do have to wear gloves when I use Clorox. Probably the reason why I'm not really into cleaning products and I don't like cleaning is because I do have to wear gloves. I do have to wear a mask because I have severe allergies and I have asthma. <clears throat> but I need to switch to Mrs. Myers. I just haven't. Anyone want to send me some Mrs. Myers so I can try it? I just don't want to spend the money and then it doesn't work and it's not great. But anyway, if they had samples, that'd be great. Um, if Miss Myers wants to send me some free, you know cure down for that um i do not have pets but this is the best thing to use um i'm telling you the people who don't like to clean that's the people you need to talk to because they they know the hacks they know the tricks they know what works because they ain't trying to be all day they trying to clean and get on about their business right okay so um pet fresh i don't use this is the arm and hammer pet fresh this is what i use when i vacuum and so i don't have pets but this you want your whole house to smell good and you want all the odors to be gone. Use this. Sprinkle a little bit down. Not too much because you ain't trying to kill yourself. This stuff is strong. And, excuse me, you um, sprinkle that down before you vacuum. And your house will smell like you give you a huge refresh. Like you just got your carpet clean. So if you're doing that in the middle of it. I do it every time I vacuum. I put a little bit of this down. It's made by Arm & Hammer. And it is really really great it works i stand by it <laughs> all right pledge wipes let me talk about pledge wipes y'all because you know i like to wipe things down but sometimes i'm in a hurry so in the middle <clears throat> of cleaning and this my husband does the big dusting the major dusting with the towel you know with the um microfiber towels and microfiber towels are awesome in the middle of that these wipes are lifesavers because sometimes I have allergies so I have to keep things clean that's why I use Clorox that's why um, <clears throat> I clean the bathroom so much I have to keep that's why we vacuum because I have to keep the dust up from around the house and so I have to if you have somebody in your family who has allergies or you <clears throat> yourself have allergies you want to make sure you're cleaning and have a really great routine for cleaning because the dust, sometimes it's the dust dusting around the lamps and all these little chotskis and cute stuff. That's why I'm a glam girl, but I have to watch the, the amount of stuff that I have around because it can get really dusty. And so um, even the fans, all of that. <clears throat> and so, yeah, so make sure, you know, that you have something quick. So, you know, you don't have to go run and pull out this. You can just use these wipes and I'm telling you, they work. Um, another thing dust collects on places, mirrors. You know, we, we don't think about like our mirrors. I love cleaning the mirror, make sure it's clean and got to have paper towels for that. But um, Windex. So Windex is really, really great. And I love the way a mirror looks after it's been Windex. And then Windex had, just has that really nice smell, that really nice, clean, crisp uh, smell. And so just Windex alone will make your house um, so great. Another little hack that I like to do is in the middle um, of cleaning, like during the day, if I know someone has, this bad, gone to the bathroom and they've had happy moments in the bathroom on the throne, <clears throat> I like to put um, a Clorox wipe and just let it sort of sit because they are very thin and let it, let it uh, in the toilet 
you know, I clean around and wipe around <clears throat> because we're spraying so much. We're always spraying so much like Febreze and all those other things, which are great. But I've learned that if you just put the little Clorox wipe in there, wipe around the toilet and whatever you're going to do and le and just leave the Clorox to to uh, to to wipe in the water, then it gives it a fresh scent. And so then when the next person comes, it it you will... You just won't realize how much it will just um, give you a fresh, clean scent in your house. And then having some downy poppables, because, you know, we all go. We all go. We all use the throne. <laughs> so having those downy poppables in some kind of, you know, open container is really, really great as well. <clears throat> I love Method for Granite. You want your granite clean? Method. And I love Method products just in general overall i just love method products and so yeah i think they're just fabulous i think they're great so method products are phenomenal and they clean really really great and um i'm gonna be honest with you i'll use that granite on <laughs> some stuff that ain't granite because it cleans so well even in the showers and every, it cleans so well it really does clean 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 well and so anything by method cleans well as well um as well Cleans really good as well is what I'm trying to say. I did want to talk about my Guranada. If you can see that. And I've done a haul on this and talked about this in <clears throat> because I got this from Walmart. It's um, one of those diffusers. And so I like the scents, the um, essential oils. This one is grapefruit. And I bought this separate. <clears throat> And then this one is just a relaxation and a pure, pure um, it's a pure essential oil. It actually came in the pack with this. I love, absolutely love um, the Guranada because we don't think about cleaning our air. So opening the windows and then, um, you know, and then especially opening while you're cleaning because you won't fall out. <coughs> but opening the windows to let fresh air come in. Uh, a cool breeze could just come in the house. We don't think about that in the winter time. So sometimes I'll open the garage and I'll um, just leave, you know, uh, leave the door sort of cracked, not open all the way, but leave it cracked just a bit and then leave the door cracked. Or I'll open windows in the house. Every day I usually open the window in the kitchen and so leave and let it open, even in the winter, because we don't realize that we are cycling a lot of air, same air within our house. It's like our car, right? And so if you really want to be healthy, really want things to be clean, you need some fresh air. And so I also <clears throat> love to help clean my air. And some people use sage to clean their air, which I, which I think is phenomenal. I love the smell of sage. <clears throat> but um, this also cleanses your air. And so if you know humidifiers, um, these diffusers, oil diff um, diffusers, um, having a candle, I like a linen scent, but having a candle to burn to, to burn in your house, which I'm allergic to candles, so I have a <clears throat> problem with that. But um, for you, you might be able to do that. Those things clean your air, and you need to clean the air because we're cooking and we're living. We're sitting on the throne from time to time, <laughs> and you don't realize that those scents are in your house and that you need to clean the air. And so that's really my hack is to make sure your air is clean and it's healthy as well. And so spraying Lysol, those kinds of things <clears throat> to disinfect and cleaning your doorknobs, yes, are going to really help tremendously. All right, last one. Have you or would you have a cleaning company come into your home and clean? Why or why not? Yes. Anything else? <laughs> My husband and I used to own a cleaning service. And so we used to clean commercial buildings. We didn't clean homes, but we had um, a country club. We <clears throat> had several com commercial building contracts. You know, uh, Uwasa Exide is a, a company here. They... Uh, did batteries and um, there was a NASCAR um, they they uh, sponsored a NASCAR uh, car uh, several years ago I don't know if they still sponsor it or not but we cleaned that company so we and had some pretty major contracts for cleaning so when I joke about not cleaning I really don't like to clean <laughs> and maybe that's why because I when I was younger I did sort of love cleaning but the older I've gotten I uh -uh. do I do it 
Yes. Um, but do I love it? Do I have a favorite? No. <laughs> it just has to be done. It must be done. All right. <clears throat> Who am I going to tag? Here it is. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to tag a whole lot of people because, you know, um, yes, there have been some changes on YouTube. So small YouTubers, we got to stick together. And sister friends and um, brother friends, you know. We sisters and brothers. We rolling together deep. What you say? So, um, we, we, we're going to hold this down together. So, there you go. So, I'm tagging a whole bunch of people because I want all of you all to grow. And because I love your channels. Because I watch everything y'all be doing over on y'all channels. And um, y'all be doing good. And I'm so proud of you. I, I think you're just simply amazing. Yes, I think you are. And I'm not going to tag everybody in the whole wide world. Almost. But if you left a comment on my page on one of, one of my videos i went through and wrote some names down <laughs> you might get tagged <laughs> and if you have a channel now if i missed anybody look please feel free to comment below and tag yourself um uh, and let me know so i can tag you okay don't feel left out nobody needs to feel left out but anyway who am i tagging oh, drum roll please popping on i'm beating on my cascade all right <clears throat> First, I want to say again, thanks to Miss V and thank you to Miss Chrissy over at Hosted by Chrissy and Lacey Space for um, hosting this collab. And thank you again to Mrs. V for um, tagging me. All right, who am I tagging? <laughs> Enough, right? <laughs> Mrs. Black Gold, Teacher Inspiration Station, G Ma D Red Housewife. Mimi Life, Stay at Home Wife, Barb Decor, Extra Sessions Media. Because I want to know how you clean the studio. I want to know how you clean your DJ booth and all the stuff. I mean, I'm interested and I'm curious. Creative Lori. You know, because you're staging, girl. I want to know how you do that. Bella D Designs. Stop, Drop, and Roll On. Jazzy Me. Family. Faith and Fashion, <clears throat> Sammy Jim, Miss F, Stacy's Spot, Sharon Watts. Hang on just a minute. I got one more. Wait a minute. Hold on. All right. Continuing on with this list. Sasha Monique Talks, Henson Family Vlogs, Laura Logan, Beautiful, awesome, and awesome, beautiful. TC decorates. So let me say that correctly again. TC decorates home. TC decorates home. Rachel Zaleski. Rachel Zaleski. Myriad musings. Tara's Local Inspiration, Lady T.C.D., Cool Chica Coupons, More Girl, My DIY Home, The Fashion Guru, <laughs> gotcha girl, Kim Tall, Sleek, and Chic. Just a few more for Lisa, Alex Jackson, and It's My Life. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to leave um, all of these names that I tag below. And um, so, Jazzy Me. I'm going to make sure I got her in there. And so I'm going to leave all of these links below. Now, if um, if, if I didn't tag you, remember now, contact me and let me know because I will tag you. Okay. So contact me and let me know. We're all here to help each other. And so, and to help each other grow, I'm here for you. Okay. And I know you guys are here for me because you're watching my videos and I love you so much. And so we're here for each other. I mean, that's what we do. Support each other and we love on each other. That's what we do. 
And so <clears throat> I'm tagging you guys and do your videos and we're just going to grow. We're just going to grow this thing. We're just going to, you know, grow this thing. We're going to ball this thing out. We're going to, we're going to do it and we're going to do it together. Make sure you know that I'm having a, um, uh, hosting a giveaway. Um, also I am, so make sure you sign up for, th for that. Um, go find that video. I'll leave a link. Um, I'm also hosting a challenge, um, bougie, bougie and balling on a budget challenge for, um, February. I'm sorry. Yeah. January the 20. Say it right now. January the 31st. January 31st is when it's due. And so go, I'm going to leave the link below so you can check out that video. And so tag me and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to tag y'all and stuff because we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this thing. So I'm going to leave all this information. I'm going to leave the questions below. So I'll make it easy for you guys. And thank you again, Ms. V, for tagging me. Um, thank you so much to Chrissy and to Lacey for doing this tag. Um, I just love you guys so much. I think you're really awesome. I love your channels. And um, yeah, we're going to rock this thing together. And that's the gym inspiration. We're going to stand together. You hear me? We're going to lift each other up. Sisters and brothers. That's what we're here for. We're going to lift each other up. We're going to support each other. One falls down. You can't make a video. We're going to <clears throat> we going, we hadn't, you hadn't been here for a while. We're going to come looking for you, calling, boo, all your family members saying, where she at? She ain't been on YouTube, right? Because we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this thing and our channels are going to be successful. We're going to be successful, su successful, and we're going to stand together. We ain't giving up. <laughs> for what? Because we're balling, right? Because we're already amazing. You're talented. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're wonderful just the way you are clean house or not clean house <laughs> love cleaning or not love cleaning <laughs> favorite products and <laughs> all right guys i'm tickling myself ah uh, i love you guys i wouldn't be doing a clean tag if i didn't tell y'all spilling all my tea on the youtube yes all right guys enough joking and playing around i love you love you so much keep standing keep going and keep meeting your goals. Walk towards your goals. Keep going towards those goal, goals. You're going to make it. We're going to make it together. And I'm here to make sure you make it. I'm going to do everything in my power. Because I know how amazing you are. Alright? I know how amazing you are. Alright? Alright? Love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And... See you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>